In this video, I'm going to discuss why world building is so important, and I'll give you a simple framework to start building your world today. Make sure you stick around to the end, I'll give some bonus tools and tips to help you out. I'm Sid Ward, and this channel is dedicated to my journey to becoming a full-time creative and living a free, sustainable life. Let's get right into it. What is world building? Well, like the name suggests, it's the process in which you go about constructing the world in which your story takes place. While world building, you set up both the physical environment and the socioeconomic factors that the characters must experience. It can range in scale from small buildings or towns all the way to entire galaxies full of unique attributes. So why is world building important? When writing a story, it's important to think about the order and the rules that are within the world that you're building. This is especially important when you're creating entire fictional worlds from scratch. The systems, landscape, politics should all be established, and these things matter when it comes to telling your story. If you haven't watched my video on storytelling, I will link it up here for you to watch. World building will help you out whether you're thinking of details for a book, a video game, plot, web comic, movie, you name it. Most fiction that you consume has some degree of world building. Common examples that people often bring up in fiction are the Star Wars universe, as well as Tolkien's universe featuring The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. In Star Wars, for example, the opening crawl helps the audience understand the socioeconomic conflict between the Empire and the Rebellion. And throughout the film, we see multiple things add to the universe that the story takes place in, such as starships, lightsabers, aliens, and droids. These smaller details make the world believable, or at least understandable. A less common example I'd like to mention is the anime slash manga series Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist does a great job at defining its political structure, as well as how the use of alchemy, basically magic, factors into the lives of the people in the world. Full Metal Alchemist was one of the first animes that I was introduced to by a close friend. You know who you are. And I recommend that everyone at least give it a shot, even if you don't like anime. Now that I've explained why world building is so important, and given you some examples, I'm going to explain some of the steps you should take to start world building for your story. The first step I recommend is to think about the type of world that you want to build. Is it a dystopian future, something like you'd see in Blade Runner or Cyberpunk 2077? Or is your world more fantasy in nature? You can truly be creative here. It's all about making a setting that services your story that you want to tell. Like I mentioned in my video about time travel, I'm pretty passionate about worlds with futuristic elements. The world I'm currently building is in a parallel Earth that's more technologically advanced, and my world building deals with how the advancements in technology affect the economic climate and the lives of the people. The next step I'd recommend would be to define the rules within your world. This includes the political structure like in Full Metal Alchemist, the hierarchy or lack thereof, and the limits that characters need to work within or overcome. The next step is where you can really dive deep into detailing your world. It's important not to get carried away during this stage, just remember that the world should service your story. So be careful about adding unnecessary details. You can talk about the cultural beliefs within your world, the weather, the climate, and the history of your world, which can provide a backstory for why things are the way they are. Like I said, don't get carried away, but try to have fun. One thing I would like to briefly touch upon is character development. I will be making a complete video on character development soon, as I've had people inquire about that topic. But I figured it would be a good idea to talk about world building first, so hit the subscribe button and look out for the character development video. Should be coming soon. Okay, so here are some tools that I think will help you. It's important that when you're writing anything, not just world building, that you keep backups of your data. I recommend, at least when you're getting started, to try out some simple cloud-based platforms. This will help keep your writing secure and let you access it on any device, even a cell phone. Some free options that I recommend are Apple Notes, if you have Apple devices, which is great because it seamlessly syncs between iPhone, Mac, and iPad. Or you could use Google Docs if you use Android. That way your writing will be backed up to either iCloud or Google Drive. If you write notes on pen and paper or use a typewriter like I do, by the way, check out my video on how to make a writing ritual, back up your handwritten notes either by scanning them into software or by typing them by hand. It's always a good idea to have multiple backups in different places. I'll also link the subreddit r slash worldbuilding, which has a ton of great resources and templates for helping you out if you get stuck on anything. Also, you can let me know in the comments below your thoughts or questions that you have about worldbuilding. I make sure to read every single comment. I hope that these tips will help you out with building your world and starting to tell your story. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button to keep up with my creative journey and learning the skills that I need to live a free life. My Instagram account will also be linked below so you can follow my journey on there too.